Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Arpita Karva and in this video, we are going to be looking at various career options that are available after you finish your B.Ed. Now I know that a lot of students out there are pursuing B.Ed or are thinking of doing B.Ed and they are wondering if this degree is even worth it. Will they get ample job opportunities after it? So in this video, I'm going to quickly take you through what is B.Ed, what is the process of doing a B.Ed and then we are going to discuss all the career options that are available after you complete your B.Ed. Towards the end of this video, I'm going to also talk about some advantages that you get after doing B.Ed and not in any other career. So ensure that you watch the video till the end. So in this kis baat ka? Let's go. Chal, 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 chal. Okay, so let us begin and first talk about what is B.Ed. B.Ed stands for Bachelors in Education. Now, what do you need to focus here on is the word Bachelor. It's a Bachelor's course. A lot of students think that this is a Master's degree because they do it after doing B.Sc or B.A. or B.Com. But no friends, always remember that B.Ed stands for Bachelor's in Education. It's a Bachelor's degree. It's not a Master's course. And why is this course done? Batao, batao. This course is done if you want to become a teacher. Now friends, let's quickly look at the qualification or eligibility for B.Ed. Please note that there is no age limit for pursuing B.Ed. You just need to be 15 years or older. You can do it as early as 16 and as late as 96 years. Further, you need to score at least 50% in B.Ed to ensure that your degree is valid. Now let's look at who can do B.Ed. Friends, people from any stream can do B.Ed. If you are a commerce student who has done B.Com or if you are a science stream student or have done engineering, B.Tech, B.Sc or you are from humanity stream and have done B.A. Anyone and everyone will be eligible to apply for B.Ed. Now let's look at the form filling procedure of B.Ed. You have to fill the form online. The forms come out generally in the month of January, February. Further, there is an entrance exam in the month of June, July that needs to be cleared in order to get a seat in B.Ed college. And based on your marks, you get the admission in these colleges. Friends, also remember that each and every state conducts their own entrance exam. For example, UP ki baat le lo. UP conducts its own exam. Similarly, Rajasthan and all the other Indian states, they conduct their own B.Ed exam. By the way, before we move ahead, if you are looking for B.Ed, UGC Net, MA Entrance, PhD Entrance, PGT, TGT exam updates, then please follow us on Instagram and Facebook. You could find us on these social media platforms using our username Arpita Karva. We regularly post study tips, free study material on our Facebook and Insta page. Moreover, every Sunday, we share quick revision reels on these pages, which will help you revise your topics in less than 60 seconds. Now friends, you'll be wondering about the duration of the B.Ed program. Now there are different durations depending upon your choice. Confused? Let me elaborate and explain. For example, if you enroll in B.Ed program right after 12th standard, Barvi ki pariksha di aur socha ab meko B.Ed karna hai. You'll be doing an integrated B.Ed program, the duration of which would be 4 years. This program was newly launched under the National Education Policy. NEP. So now, Gana, under this policy, they have stated that you can do BA and B.Ed together in an integrated program, which is of a duration of four years. You can also do B.Com plus B.Ed or you can do B.Sc plus B.Ed. So you saw what did they do here for students from different streams, humanities, science and commerce. They made a sort of package that you can take BA and, uh, you know, B.Ed, B.Com and B.Ed, B.Sc and B.Ed and you can do it in this particular combination. This is in fact very similar to how a lot of universities give B.A. LLB combined program. Similarly, you can do B.A. B.Ed, B.Com B.Ed, B.Sc B.Ed. It will take you four years to complete this program. Now let's come to option number two. This is when you are done with your graduation and now you decide that you want to do B.Ed. In that case, it's a two-year program 
and finally comes option number 3 in which you decide to do bed after post graduation like ma m com mba etc karne ke baad then in that case if you pursue bed then the program will be of just one year so to sum up there are three durations attached to this program if you go straight after school then it's a four year course if you do it after graduation it's a two year course and if you do it after post graduation it's a one year course now friends let's talk about the three modes of pursuing bed you can do your bed as a regular student from any private or government college and you can also do it from distance mode the only difference between these modes is that the government कॉलेज वाला बी एड वेटेज ज़्यादा रखता है फ्रॉम द डिस्टेंस और द प्राइवेट कॉलेज वाला बी एड इट्स रियली गुड फॉर योर रिज्यूम इफ यू डू इट फ्रॉम अ गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज देखिए कोशिश तो सब गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज से बी एड करने की करते हैं हाउ एवर इफ यू नॉट एबल टू स्कोर वेल इन द एंट्रेंस एग्जाम ऑफ बी एड यू कैन गेट एडमिशन इन अ प्राइवेट कॉलेज एंड इफ यू आर अ बिजी पर्सन हु इज डूइंग अ जॉब और एज अ हाउस वाइफ देन यू कैन डू इट फ्रॉम डिस्टेंस लर्निंग प्रोग्राम or what we generally call as correspondence now there's also a huge difference in terms of fees in a government college fees per year of b ed course is almost 10 to 15000 however for private colleges fees per year is almost 1 lakh rupees this difference is also on the account of the cut off friends so the total marks of b ed entrance is 400 and if you are scoring anywhere above 250 marks you can get a good government college and if you are scoring above 100 but less than 250 marks you can get into a decent private college you have to remember that the competition to get into government college is really high because not everyone can afford the fees of private colleges friends now we will talk about the top colleges for bed There are a lot of colleges in India that provides a B.Ed program. The most prominent colleges for B.Ed uh, in India are Indraprastha University, Banaras Hindu University, which is also known as B.H.U., Lady Irwin College, D.A.V. College of Kanpur. So, ये कुछ अच्छे हैं. बाकी you can get a list online. Google Baba की जाए. Friends, now comes the section you all were eagerly waiting for, wherein we are going to talk about the paper pattern. There are two papers in B.Ed. now i'm talking about bed entrance exam okay now these two papers are conducted on the single day like on the same day both the papers happen each of these papers will be 3 hours long negative marking bhi hai it is involved paper 1 has two parts part a and part b and similarly paper 2 has two parts part a and part b friends let's talk about paper 1 it carries 200 marks in paper 1 part a has questions from general knowledge and general awareness part b is a language section where basic grammar and comprehension based questions are asked you can choose hindi or english as the subject in part b if you have opted hindi then topics like sandhi samas muhavare ye sab aayenge on the other hand if you have opted english then aapko isi ke english counterparts padhne hain antonyms synonyms idioms one word substitution tenses etc let's now talk about paper number 2 it also carries 200 marks part a has questions from mathematics and reasoning in part b checks your subject ability whatever subject you have opted us pe questions puche jayenge so friends this was the paper pattern of the entrance exam of bed now let's talk about the career options after bed इतनी मेहनत अगर हम कर रहे हैं बीएड के एंट्रेंस के लिए और फिर बीएड में जाके पढ़ने के लिए तो भाई क्या इसके आगे का फ्यूचर क्या है ये तो जानना चाहिए ही ना फ्रेंड्स द मोस्ट कॉमन ऑप्शन आफ्टर बी एड इज ऑफ कोर्स टीचिंग यू कैन टीच स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम ग्रेड वन टू ट्वेल्थ यू कैन जॉइन एनी प्रेस्टिजियस स्कूल एंड टीच दी स्टूडेंट्स यू कैन ऑल्सो ओपन योर ओन स्कूल इफ यू गेट इन अ प्राइवेट स्कूल द सैलरी पैकेज इज प्रिटी गुड but if we talk about the most reputed private schools in india then the package goes as high as 80000 to 1 lakh rupee a month bed will not just help you to be a teacher in fact if you stay in the same school for let's say 5 7 years you get promoted to coordinator then to the position of vice principal and ultimately you can also become the principal of the school now friends a lot of students will say that our motive behind doing bed was getting a government job but trust me you won't get a government job just by doing bed you'll also have to give another competitive exam pata tha ke is bare mein if yes then it's good thing 
let's say you want to teach students of class 1 to class 5th in a government school you will have to give an exam called TET that stands for teacher eligibility test it is conducted by states and also at the central level after clearing it you can get into KVs that is Kendra Vidyale and NVs so if you want to teach primary classes that is from grade 1 to 5 you have to give TET exam or if it is conducted on the central level it is CTET CTET is basically TET organized at the central level and that is why it stands for Central Teacher Eligibility Test. Now if you want to teach grade 6 to 10th, then you have to appear for an exam called TGT instead of TET. Now you'll ask that Arpita, can I not directly give TGT exam? Like why do I have to do B.Ed? No friends, eligibility criteria for TGT says that you need to have B.Ed degree. So only after completing B.Ed and clearing TGT, you can teach grade 6 to 10th in any government school. Now if you want to teach 11th and 12th grade students, tab kya kare? Along with B.Ed, you need to have another degree in your resume, that is master's degree. It could be MA, MCOM, MSc or even MBA. You also need to clear an exam called PGT. So, bhai, 11th or 12th mein padhana itna asaan nahi hai. Aapko sirf BCom nahi hai. Aapko MCom bhi karna hoga aur fir PGT bhi clear karna hoga. Tab aap 11th, 12th mein padha sakte hai. Honestly, some schools don't ask you to have B.Ed if you want to teach 11th and 12th. But in order to teach uh, in majority of the schools, you need to have uh, B.Ed ka degree. Matlab, most of the schools mein compulsory type ki cheez hai ye. So I suggest you to complete your B.Ed to be on a safer side. Now let's talk about another opportunity that opens up once you finish your masters. So agar aap PGT ka exam dene ka soch rahe hai and aap soch rahe ki mein masters kar leta hun. So PGT ke saath mein aap ek cheez aur kar sakte hai. After completing your MA alongside your B.Ed you can also prepare for UGC net exam. This will open another door for you. And what's that door? It's the career option to become a lecturer or a professor in any university or college across India. Friends, there's a huge misconception in the market that after doing B.Ed, you can directly become an assistant professor in a college. This is absolutely wrong. Let me clarify this. If you didn't do master's degree and if you did not clear UGC net, you cannot become a lecturer or an assistant professor kahi pe bhi. So only if you have done masters like MA kara, MCOM kiya, MSc kiya and then you give UGC net, only then you can become a college lecturer or a professor. Friends, a bonus tip here is that under national education policy, you can now do dual degree together. That means you can do B.Ed from one college, simultaneously pursue MA from another college. So after completing your bachelor's, I would highly recommend you ki you go for this kind of thing, B.Ed and MA saath saath karo. So aapke saare career options khule rahenge. Before we move on to the next point, here is something that I want to share. If you're preparing for or thinking of preparing for UGC net, paper one, paper two, MA entrance, PhD entrance, PGT, TGT, UPSC, GATE, SET or any other competitive exam related to English literature, I have an amazing news for you. We offer detailed online video course for all these exams. In our online course, we provide you with topic-wise video lessons with rich animations covering all topics in a step-by-step -step manner which works even when you have not done any previous preparation. We also provide you high-quality PDFs and revision notes that cover syllabus-wise topics comprehensively and ensure you qualify your dream exam in just one attempt. Along with video lectures and PDF, we also offer test series that consist of more than 3000 unit wise questions that comes with detailed explanation. Plus after every test you get a detailed performance report and your ranking in the All India Leaderboard which will help you to spot your strong and weak areas. We cover all these important topics in our online course. The detailed list of these topics is given on the website free of cost arpitakarva.com. Even if you're preparing on your own for these exams, we would highly recommend you to visit our website, download this detailed list of writers, topics and check out the solve past year papers for all these competitive exams. The link of our website and all the courses are given right in the description box below. You can check out the course details from our website and even watch free demo lectures and attempt free demo mock tests before you decide to enroll in our course.
members. For more information related to our courses we offer, feel free to shoot your queries on the WhatsApp number displayed on your screen and me and my team will be more than happy to assist you. Now let's talk about another career option which is doing B.Ed plus M.Ed. Now, if you do MED after B.Ed, you can become a teacher in B.Ed colleges. You can also do a PhD in education subject after completing your MED. Another career option is to become BEO. Ab ye kya bala hai? That is Block Education Officer. Every year, around 300 vacancies are made for this. There, uh, these vacancies are given to those who have qualified B.Ed. So, this is only for them specifically. So, if you have B.Ed, this is another career option that you can like explore. Another wonderful option is to become a content writer. Since you have done B.Ed, I am assuming that you know so much about education. You can work with schools and write content for their books. You can get employed by publishing houses and become an in-house editor. In fact, you can also start writing books of B.Ed and M.Ed courses yourself. Friends, to sum up, I would suggest you to take the B.Ed degree very seriously because it has number of benefits. Plus, there are so many advantages of taking up a career as a teacher. The job timings are very suitable. The salary package is good, especially in government schools and colleges and also in renowned private schools. A lot of people think that teachers are not paid well. But go and do the online research. You can easily earn around 50,000 to 70,000 as a teacher. Plus, as a teacher, there is a perfect work-life balance. You just have to work for like 6 to 8 hours. Plus, you get a lot of holidays in this profession. No other profession gives these many holidays and leaves. And most importantly, you get a lot of respect as a teacher. People always look up to you. It's a, indeed like a very, very noble profession. The teachers build foundation of our life. And whether you want to become a scientist with, um, you know, and associate yourself with NASA or you want to become an actor, the teacher helps form the base in the initial years of your life. So with these many benefits, I urge you to take your BA degree very seriously and put in all the hard work so that you can get into the reputed college. If you found this video helpful, then please like this video by giving it a big fan thumbs up and also share it with other fellow aspirants who are struggling with similar kind of questions. With that note, I would like to take your leave. That's it from my side for this video lecture. I'll meet you very, very soon in the next video lecture. Till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarwa.com.